My name is Philip Verway and I've been in the dairy business for most of my life. My name's Kevin Abernathy. I'm the Director of Regulatory Affairs for Milk Producers Council. We've recently worked with the Air District on a TAP project. To actually implement um, a major reduction in criteria pollutants by electrifying a feeding system. The district through their TAP program, Technology Advancement Program, has the ability to uh, incentivize innovative technologies that reduce emissions. You have an idea to reduce emissions in any way within your company that you're able to put together a proposal and submit it to them. It was just driving home one day and I came up with the idea and I contacted Kevin. We kind of brainstormed what this could look like if we converted from tractor driven to electric driven. The purpose of the mixer is to take feed ingredients, mix them, and end up with a total mix ration for the dairy herd to prevent sorting of the feeds. The new mixer now is uh, stationary mixers. There's two of them and they're both driven with um, large electric motors. Previously, they were driven with tractor, PTO driven uh, mixers. So we're able to reduce the emissions by using the electric. The, the project cumulatively was looking at reducing just shy of 22 tons of NOx emissions down to a level that is just over two tons. The tractors were using roughly um, about 7,000 gallons of fuel every um, three weeks to four weeks and we've been able to reduce that probably to about 500 gallons of fuel. And one thing that I've, I've actually witnessed on site is the blending of the feed and the TMR seems to be a lot more consistent with the electrified process. The efficiencies is increased in the mixtures of the feed and we cut our feeding operation from 20 to 21 hours a day to about nine to nine and a half hours a day. Virtually a 50% reduction in manpower to do the same operation in, in, in feeding the cattle in half the amount of time. I give the San Joaquin Valley Air Pollution Control District a tremendous amount of kudos. The, the effort that they do behind the scenes is by far and away the poster child that I wish other regulatory entities um, would, would take a page out of the playbook from, from the APCD. It's been a very positive experience for me. Everybody's been helpful. The funding that is is necessary to make these projects work as well as they work. I just can't go on enough about uh, the professionalism and the leadership because we, we couldn't have put this together without, without a team approach of getting this done. I actually queried a large percentage of, of Milk Producers Council's membership and every farmer that I talked to was extremely interested in seeing the end results of, of Phillips project from the standpoint that they, they believed wholeheartedly that it would be something that they could implement on their farm. I would definitely recommend it and to um, my fellow dairymen that I've brought it up to, they're all interested. The, the overwhelming percentage of California dairy families I personally spoke with said by all means we would certainly invest in this type of a process. And when it's a completed project, to hopefully have an incentive program um, so that they can do a similar thing. You know, the, the folks that I represent at Milk Producers Council and, and the California dairy families have, have made a commitment uh, to doing their part to clean up the, the air in the Central Valley.